So I had a guy work for me a few years back and he had this, this saying uh, that an uncluttered space is a clear mind. That's definitely some truth. There's definitely some truth to that. Uh, last year I went through and like sold off a bunch of stuff. Like if I hadn't touched it in like six months, sold it off. Uh, stacked, stacked it in cash and then I uh, transformed it into silver. And I think I stacked like 250, 300 ounces or so of like silver just on stuff we didn't need. And I'm pretty bullish on silver for many, many different reasons, which is a completely different video, but it's the only asset I can find that's 50% off of its all-time high from 1980. And it had a second all-time high of, it matched its all-time high of 1980 in 2011. Also still 50% off. So. Not many things out there right now that are 50%, selling at a 50% discount to uh, their all-time highs. And of course, last year it was selling even a little bit lower than that. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going through things. I've got an August goal going into the month of August that by the time I get to September, I want to go through another round of like purging stuff out of my life that I don't need. I'm a person that tends to to gather things. I don't know what that is. And maybe it's a scarcity mindset. I, I've noticed like whenever I go on a backpacking trip, I like to pack light, you know, want to do miles, put in, put in good miles up and down hills, mountains, whatever. And like three minutes before I head out the door, I'm like, I should get an extra box of matches just cause I already got two backups, but you know what? Just cause maybe, maybe things are going to get gnarly. You know, let me get an extra pair of socks. You know what? Uh, you know what, maybe, maybe I want to carry a little bit more emergency supply. Like I just add stuff. I don't know why I do that. Um, but I always end up heading out onto the trail, like four or five pounds heavier than I intended to go out. Same thing with like when I, when I catch a flight somewhere, I'm always like last minute, I just like stock some stuff up. I'm like, what if I need it? And then I carry that crap with me through my entire freaking trip. I'm like, why did I bring this extra sweatshirt? Why did I bring this extra whatever? Like, cause I like to travel light, like to have like nothing. And in a perfect world, I'd just be like walking around with a backpack. I mean, everything I need. Um, however, I'm not in that spot where I can just like do that at the moment. Uh, but nonetheless, think about things you don't need and then consider just getting rid of them. Facebook Marketplace, if you've got Facebook, I personally don't. Uh, Craigslist, it's great. My wife has Facebook accounts. So we utilize hers for the Facebook market aspect of that, but we've sold so much stuff in the past two years on Facebook Marketplace of things that we just didn't, didn't, didn't need, didn't add any value to our life, didn't add any joy to our life, only added complexities, only added something else we had to wash or dust or walk around. And uh, I'm gonna do another round of that. But I think that at this time, I'm probably gonna just stack it in physical cash and wait, because I think that we're probably inching closer and closer to an epic crash maybe definitely probably the biggest in my lifetime. I've seen two, but I really didn't partake in a big, in a big way. That would be the dot com and that would be the housing crisis. I think that we're gonna see the housing crisis, but way bigger this time. Um, but nonetheless, I don't need this crap in my life. So, you know, regardless of what I do with the with, uh, uh, proceeds of the sales or whatever, and some of them I'll just be giving stuff away. The other parts I'll just be throwing stuff away. Um, but to be decluttering things, because when I look at the KPIs in my life, the key performance indicators, the things that matter in my life, big goals that I have, am I putting a YouTube video out every day? By the way, you guys liking and commenting, it helps in the algorithm huge, so I appreciate that so much. Thank you for doing that. Um, big difference on videos that, that get engagement like that, huge difference. Um, am I putting a video out a day? No, okay. Well, does this stuff, does this, does this stuff help me do that or not? No. Okay. Then it, okay. What are my other goals? Well, I want to make X amount of net profit in my, in my personal business. Do these things help me in that? No. Okay. What are they doing here? Right. Do they help me like unwind recreationally? Like, is this a fun thing to have or, or am I actually going out and using it? You know, like I've had things in the past like surfboards or wakeboards or whatever, but it's like dive gear, but it's like, Hey, if you're not making those trips and you're not putting them on the calendar, it's just sitting around your garage. Something that, oh yeah, man, when I took it out like four years ago, you know, time for me to personally consult, like consolidate things down. And uh, I think it's a great time to get very, very limbal and very, very thin as far as like the amount of clutter that I have in my life so I can focus on things that matter, like what I think we're walking into and making sure that I'm kicking butt performance wise and everything that... I value as a KPI in my life, like this channel, putting up videos, 
I'm working on a couple different businesses on the side, like grumbling those and, and putting out content uh, for those businesses. Um, but really, like, if it's not that, spending time with my family, getting healthier, um, you know, building building our off grid compound, I don't really need it. Like, I don't really have any use for it at this point in my life. It's kind of like over. Um, so I'm gonna be going through like a big declutter. I'd encourage you to look around. I share my personal story from last year. Like we literally sold enough stuff to to add 250, 300 ounces of physical silver to our stacks. I mean, that's huge. I think, you know, that asset is, like I said, it's 50% off of its all time highs from 1980. Um, pretty undervalued, but regardless of what you do with the proceeds, just getting the, the mental cleansing out of, you know, just getting that stuff out of your life feels good and it makes you know gives you an opportunity to like reassess where you're at what you're gonna do and uh, what are the actual things that are helping you move forward in that a lot of people just have a lot of stuff that's if it's not helping you move forward it's holding you back like, there's really only two ways to go here it's either holding you back from forward motion or it's helping propel you forward if it's not helping propel you get rid of that thing and if you can liquidate it for any cash that's amazing too peace